everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my July favorites. I am going to run you through all the products I was loving throughout the month of July. July I actually did go to LA. I went to go see my new place. Uh, I spent the fourth uh, with my friends and family and actually my last video which was my St. Tropica hair challenge I filmed when I was there. I will link that video down below. You guys my hair seriously grew an inch and a half in two months. Like that never happens. I mean those vitamins really did work so if you want to check those out if you're interested in longer stronger hair go check the video out but anywho see today's video is just going to be my july favorites my favorite kind of video to film it's pretty self-explanatory so without further ado if you guys want to see everything i was loving throughout last month don't forget to please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you know when i post and without further ado let's go ahead and get on into the it powder i'm wearing on my face today is the kosas comfy cloud set press powder now i know last month i spoke about the Urban Decay All Nighter Powder, and I love that. It's summertime, guys. We're sweaty. We're hot. I live in Las Vegas, and even in LA, things can get pretty up there in temperature, especially since it's more humid there. So I love a good powder, especially now that I've learned to set my face with a velour puff with powder. I don't set it with a powder brush anymore, and I feel like my makeup lasts so much longer. It looks so much more airbrushed. And this powder is like the Urban Decay All Nighter in the sense that it's very um, smoothing. It truly makes you look like you have a filter on your face. It's the powder I am wearing on my skin today. As soon as you press it in with a velour puff especially, you see your face like have this nice matte veil over it, but the difference between this and the all-nighter is that this powder is less intense. It's not going to be as waterproof. It's not going to be as all-nighter, you know, like budge-proof, sweat-proof, like last you through a hurricane-proof kind of powder. This one is more for people who just want an everyday set. It does set your face really, really well. Like I said, it provides that nice matte veil. It just blurs the crap out of your skin and it feels so lightweight. I love this packaging. You can get this powder at Sephora. Um, they have a few different shades and I think I spoke about this in a haul video uh maybe when i first got it but you can see i've definitely dug into it i have the light medium shade and it's so lightweight very 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 silky disappears into your skin it's not one of those powders that even though it is tinted it's going to just leave a harsh stamp it blends out really nicely and it just truly melts in and you don't see that harsh demarcation of powder or color to the rest of your face and i absolutely love it this is just a great kind of every kind of skin type every kind of girl or boy every kind of occasion kind of powder where you want something that's nice enough for day to day but you can really amp it up for um special occasions and hotter weather as well and even if you have dry skin i think you would really like this with a nice little dusting because again it just really smooths out your skin that's really like the best feature of this powder and i absolutely love it as somebody with oily skin i <laughs> i feel like it's this in every video i need to stop saying it but i have been on a cream product kick and this is a bronzer that i have wanted for so long and you can only purchase it on the website i believe colourpop.com or soulbody.com and i love soulbody products soulbody is the sister brand or a sister brand to colourpop which is funny because i'm going to talk about literally all three different sister brands today i have a product from colourpop from fourth ray beauty and from soulbody now this is such an amazing cream bronzer and first of all i love the packaging you know you get a nice amount you get 1.1 ounces for 15 dollars and this does come in four shades i believe i think like light medium medium dark and dark or maybe there's a dark deep i'm not really sure i personally got medium dark this does claim to be a face and body bronzer so you can use it on your face you can use it on your body i love soul body products they make like the shimmering dry oil which is a product that i got two years ago i've gotten their glow oil which i really do like as well and i've spoken about in previous videos um this is vegan cruelty free paraben free mineral oil free phthalate free made in the usa i love this brand and everything they stand for i love their packaging i love their marketing i just everything is so cute it's the bronzer i have on my face today now of course with any cream product i always recommend you apply it on top of either bare skin or on top of cream products because when you apply cream on top of powder like if you set your face and then go in with this it can look a little bit choppy so i just do this after i f put foundation on and i put concealer on this is my next step and oh my god it's so beautiful just like i do with a cream blush or a cream blush stick i just take a dense uh synthetic foundation brush the denser the brush the more product it's going to pick up and the easier it's going to buff into your skin with a cream product especially with synthetic fiber so that's what I recommend dense synthetic brush this one actually is from shop miss a which is like that dollar makeup website and I actually bought this in a pack this is the AOA studio high def brush f4 looks 
like this. Um, I just dunk it in here, swirl it around, which is why you see like little brush marks. And then I just go in and tap it ever so slightly and you can build it up. And I just do around here, I do the perimeter of my face and then dunk, 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 go in. What's great about this is that it is pigmented, but it's also very buildable and very easy to blend and very creamy and smooth at the same time, which is something that I feel like is rare to have all of those qualities with one product. The fact that it's buildable, but also pigmented, I know kind of sounds like an oxymoron, but it truly is. And it has so many great reviews. That's why I wanted to try it for so long. And now that I did, I'm so glad and I can attest to how great the product is. Definitely check it out if you're in the market for a cream bronzer. The only bummer, like I said, is that you can't go in store and um, see it in person and maybe swatch it. But trust me, um, the color selections and the undertone is really, really great. And I got medium dark because I am a little bit more tan right now, so this works perfectly. Um, I could go medium to medium dark, but like I said, because it is so buildable, when I am a little bit more fair or lighter, like when this natural tan goes away from the summertime, um, I can still use this product. It just won't, you know, go back in. I'll just do a light layer. So it really is customizable in that way, and I love it. This is the cream blush that I ordered with this bronzer in that order from ColourPop.com. And last month I spoke about the blush stick in the shade Aloha, which is one of their first blushes that they launched in the blush stick line um, two summers ago. Well, it recently came out with a collection and I forget the name of it, but you can buy it at Ulta now. Um, I did buy this online because I was shopping for a bunch of different things. And oh my God, I love this packaging so much and I love this color. This is a blush stick in the shade Rum Runner. Um, first of all, I just love how cute it is. It's so, so beautiful. And this color is absolutely stunning as well. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me swatch you the bronzer on my hand just so you can see. It looks dark here, but again, as I blend it out, it just becomes so beautiful and it stays put and lasts such a long time. Now with the blush, I love this formula. I also apply in the same way where I will roll it up take it on here, roll it on here, and then you can pat it in. Now, as I think I mentioned in my last favorites video when I spoke about the Aloha shade, I don't typically put it on my skin and then rub it in unless I'm going in completely on bare skin, which is what I did the other day. I just put on a little bit of concealer, a little bit of blush, and I just went like this because I didn't have any foundation underneath. So um, I was able to really rub it in and you know distribute the product nicely. But when I'm wearing makeup, typically I will apply it on the brush first, and that allows me to really build up the pigmentation and adjust it to how I see fit and oh, I just love this shade so much it's like a really nice pink again it's a blush I'm wearing on my skin today and of course I put on these cream products and then I went over it with that Kosas powder and you can still see the color peeking through now you can of course go back in and add a different powder blush on top but I personally like to build up a lot underneath so that way when I set it with powder on top um, you can still see it kind of veiling through but this is the shade Run Runner right here, which is a shade I've been loving and using so much this month. And I will compare it next to Aloha for your reference, just in case you're looking at it and you're like, well, I don't really know what the difference is. Aloha is a lot peachier. So let me do Rum Runner next to Aloha. So this is Aloha. You can see it's a lot more peachy and then Rum Runner's a lot more pink but both so beautiful, that same really nice kind of creamy formula that dries down nicely. You just set it and it stays put, so no worries there. And yeah, oh my God, my ponytail needs help. I need to brush this sucker out. Um, okay, so probably I should have started with this product, but this is a foundation that I brought with me to LA and it's one that I have been wearing so often. It's not the foundation I'm wearing today. I'm actually wearing Jouer High Coverage Foundation because I wanted like a full coverage look for this like more intense kind of eye look but the Too Faced Born This Way matte 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation is such a good foundation um it's definitely very buildable um but you can get medium to full coverage like it's medium full with two pumps and then full coverage with three pumps and this is the newer version of the OG Born This Way which has been like a cult favorite in the industry for so long that one comes in a shorter fatter packaging this one the matte version is a thinner um taller little shape um it's oil free oil controlling waterproof transfer resistant and I have the shade warm beige this is my summer shade and I love bringing this to LA because I didn't have to bring a mixer because this shade matches my body right now pretty well. It's a foundation that I wore in my how to make your makeup last all day slash waterproof, sweatproof makeup tutorial. I will link that video down below. Um, and I wore that out to like a pool party at a day club and my foundation still looks so good. Out in the sun, you know, 
you know in the water here and there sweating this truly lives up to the height you know honestly i'm not proud to admit this but i have worn this overnight um not good don't do that i rarely ever do that unless i'm like staying over at a friend's and i maybe forget to bring you know a makeup wipe or makeup cleanser or like we're out really late and then i just fall asleep 10 times out of 10 when i come back to my place i always take it off but if i'm at someone else's Sometimes that escapes me. But any hoozy, point being, the next morning I woke up and it wasn't patching off. It didn't look weird. It truly is such a nice long wearing foundation. Good formula, does not break you out. Would recommend and am recommending. <laughs> hence this video okay something else that just screams summer i have a lot of good summer products here that um i just want to give a shout out to because uh it's august now and this is like the last month that we can do like summer makeup or like not the last month you can do summer makeup whenever but today i went in with the bh cosmetics summer and saint tropez palette because it's my most colorful fun palette like look at all these fun colors and i was like i haven't done like a nice kind of like bold colorful look so i just really want to play with the pinks and the oranges and the reds and just do something fun you know but any hoozy this is something that i bought while i was in la last month and last month you guys remember i spoke about let me go get it real quick last month i spoke about the number 40 the black amber plum and vanilla woods and i had to go out and get the og scent um i went to sephora beverly hills and just did a bunch of shopping and i picked this up and i was searching all over the store for it and they said they were sold out i had the associates help me look for it and then this one lady was stocking the shelf and i was like i'm sorry like can i have one the new stock had just come in and they were like um putting it on shelf this is the pistachio salted caramel number 62 caramel caramel what do you guys say do you say caramel or caramel leave it in the comments below is their og and it is more summertime than this one you can't go wrong with this it smells like um their boom boom cream but honestly you guys even though i love this one and it's the one i've been wearing more this month i think personally i like this one even more um but this is still a july favorite because this is what i was wearing truly all month and i do love it but if you're looking at these two and you're like i only want to get one which one should i get if you like one that's more light and summery and more of that pistachio um salted caramel kind of vibe get this if you want something that's a little bit more deep and sexy and fruity this was just so good this is like the fall version of this and this is like just summer and sunshine but this is a little bit more mysterious and sexy um i love them both though and this is just uh, can't go wrong yes it is a body spray so it's not going to last as long as like an eau de parfum you know like a true perfume but it lasts a decent amount of time um i've worn it out of the shower i've worn it out i've worn it around my house and i i love it i just love getting the whiffs and if you spray it on your clothes too it'll cling to the fabric more than it'll cling to your skin at least in my opinion so um if you really want to be able to smell it after hours of wear spray it on your clothes and you'll be able to okay speaking of sprays it's summertime um i want to give a shout out to the sunscreen because i absolutely love it i spoke about the bronze one in my last empties video which i also do like i will link that video down below but australian gold has to be one of my favorite sunscreens ever especially their body spray sunscreen this is the ultimate hydration um Continuous spray sunscreen, water resistant SPF 30. It's non greasy, cruelty free, and oxybenzone free. And yes, this is a chemical sunscreen. It's really hard to find physical body sunscreens. Um, and I've mentioned that on my face, I only like to use physical sunscreens because my face is more sensitive, obviously, than, than the rest of my body. But on my body, I can use this no problem. It's fine. It gives you such a nice, even spray. I'll give a little bit right now. Look how even that spray is and it smells really good and gives you like a nice kind of sheen it's very subtle it's not going to be as shimmery um as the instant bronzer sunscreen that i spoke about because that literally has like bronze shimmer but it still gives you that nice kind of glow i know it seems like random it's a sunscreen but i wanted to give you guys a nice alternative to the typical neutrogena copper tone banana boat like those mainstream ones i personally love australian gold i've also used their lotion sunscreen and i really do like it but the spray sunscreen for the body is honestly the way to go in my opinion because it's just so easy and you can reapply it super quickly and doesn't matter what else you have going on in your body like um if i am going out and i'm applying like a body kind of makeup or a body glow i'll do that first and then i know i can just go over that with a spray sunscreen and it's easy and it doesn't disrupt anything all right i have to give a shout out to the lashes i am wearing on my eyes right now these are the kiss lash couture faux mink lashes in the style little black dress i love the lash couture lashes more than the regular um falsies like the ones that kiss comes out with like the demi wispies or 
are the natural ones because the Lash Couture lashes are 3D, meaning that um, you can see right here, they've got multiple lengths and curls. So that way when you're looking from the side, you don't really see your natural lashes as much. Like they blend in a lot better because the falsies have different angles. It looks more realistic than that straight kind of like one dimensional falsie where it's just all falsies and it's just like a straight kind of like linear curl. I'm not explaining that right, but this is more three dimensional than that typical kind of like Ardell Demi Wispy. Um, it's got a knot free lash band, weightless volume and curl, soft and seamless. And I absolutely love that the lash band is very easy to manipulate. These are very natural, which is why I wanted to get them. This is my third time actually wearing this pair. I wore it last night and I wore it like a week ago, but I truly do love these lashes because they give you just enough. You can do a really bold look and accentuate your eyes with this, or you can do something a little bit more natural, which is what I did yesterday. I wore like a little brown eyeliner, a little eyeshadow, threw these on, and it just takes your look to the next level. Amp up any look without being too much. And I had to give them a shout out because they're the lashes I've been wearing this month. These are my new favorite, um, like natural lash, if you will. I have three more favorites and they're all body skincare. So I have two moisturizers I wanna talk about. The first one is this one. This is the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer with Moringa and Papaya. I got this in a BoxyCharm a little bit ago. This is what it looks like inside. I really do like Pharmacy products. Um, I like their sunscreen. I love their AHA serum that's still I think to this day my favorite AHA serum the honey the honey one and I love their honey glow mask those are my favorite pharmacy products and this one is really really nice it's oil free it's a gel moisturizer so it's perfect for you guys with oily skin like myself I love this in the summertime because it just feels nice and cooling on your skin um there is a scent and when I was reading some of the reviews on Sephora a lot of people didn't like the scent of it they thought it was too strong but honestly I kind of don't mind it it smells like a little bit like a medicated minty papaya but it's nothing that I dislike. Like, in fact, I actually quite like it. And I think there's something with the papaya extract in here that really does help resurface your skin. Like I notice when I use this moisturizer and I have texture, it helps improve the texture on my skin. Um, and it's really weird because you would think like, oh, in a moisturizer like this, it's not gonna really do much. It's just claiming to be a moisturizer. It's not really gonna help skin texture or anything. But I think the papaya in here, um, which the enzyme is known to help resurface your skin, I actually feel like I do see a difference. I use this only much in the PM because I like using a sunscreen during the day, which I always recommend use a sunscreen during your day, during the day. But yeah, I love the packaging. I love the Claims Pharmacy is a nice cruelty-free brand. I know some people don't love their products, but I really do like this. I can see the scent not being for everybody, but the consistency, once it dries down, it just makes your skin feel nice and soft and like plump and moisturized. And you feel that when you wake up the next morning as well. Okay, the other moisturizer I wanna mention is actually from 4th Ray Beauty. So as I mentioned, we have a product from Soul Body. We've got ColourPop and we've got 4th Ray Beauty rounding up the sister brands. I've spoken about the Acai Face Milk before, which is the purple one. I really do like that one. Although I will say that consistency, I must have gotten a weird one because that one comes out in globs. This one just comes out in a normal kind of liquid. Um, no globs here. So maybe that one is not the best or maybe it's a little bit old, but I don't know. I keep using it. I think it's fine. I haven't experienced any irritation, but I got this off the website and For Their Beauty has a lot of different face milks. And honestly, it's kind of like Pokemon. Like I kind of want to collect them all because they're all so fun. They've got like a matcha one. They've got papaya. They've got um, oat, I think, coconut. They've got, um, you know, like a lot of different kinds. And they're so colorful. I love the packaging. I love the marketing. I love 4th Ray Beauty skincare for the most part. I've tried a lot of different products. And I do think they're a great um, cruelty-free, more affordable brand. You can buy them at Ulta, but their full lineup is always going to be on their website. And that's where you can find all of their products. But the strawberry one I've actually had in my cart to buy for a really long time. It smells good, but it doesn't smell like as fruity as I would have thought. It kind of smells like a creamy strawberry. When I first got this, I thought it would be super potent with that like super berry scent. It's not like that at all. But I love using a face milk on top of serum. Like if I go in with an AHA serum or a vitamin C serum or anything that I'm going in with at night, you should typically layer your serums in order of thickness. So you apply your thinnest one and then you cap it off with a thicker one. This is gonna be a more thick serum because it is like a moisturizer serum. So I always apply this on top of a thinner serum and it just feels like 
like so lightweight. It feels moisturizing. It's comforting. I love the scent. And you can buy this at Ulta, $14, but I purchased mine online, as I said. My last favorite, I know last month I spoke about my Bath & Body Works cream, but I have since run out of that one and I purchased a new one and I have been loving this. This is the Grapefruit Froze 24 Hour Ultra Shea Body Cream. It comes in a similar style packaging as the other one did, the Berry Waffle Cone, except obviously it's in like a golden tube and oh my goodness I love this so much because it's so grapefruit it's very summer but it's kind of like the opposite of the berry waffle cone there's no crust gourmand note which is something that I do love but it is really really nice too um in a different right because it is so fruity and delightful the notes in this are sparkling grapefruit frozen rosé and sun splash sugar I don't want you to think this smells like alcohol it doesn't you truly do smell that grapefruit first and foremost it really is like a like it really is a frosé. It's like a little bubbly grapefruit kind of champagne um, wine moment. But the grapefruit note definitely is the most prominent. And I love it. If you like sunny, bubbly scents, I know we're going to be transitioning into fall next month. But if you don't care about that kind of seasonal thing, I would definitely recommend this because I think it's really, really nice. All right, everybody. And that was it for my roundup of my July favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this comprehensive rundown of the products I was loving last month. Please leave me in the comments below what your favorite product from July was, and I would love to check it out. I'm going to be moving next week, which is crazy. So I might not have videos up for a minute because I am moving. It's going to take a minute for me to get set up, but um, I will try to see I'm over on Instagram. I'm posting more there now. So follow me there and we can chat, hang out at Ashley B. Wong. I'll be more active there definitely to try to compensate for me not being on YouTube as much with the whole move. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching though. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, please. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.